My name is Godfrey Airanga. I am a law lecturer at the Faculty of Law at Cavendish University, Uganda. I am also the moot court coordinator, or what others refer to as the moot coach of this beloved university. Mooting is a process through which we train our law students and expose them to the court life. So in a moot court, we give students a scenario of a moot problem, which is fictitious, and so they are supposed to look at that case study, draft arguments as if they are lawyers representing certain parties. For example, you could be representing a plaintiff, a defendant, an applicant, a respondent, so that now when they come to the moot competition, they are able to act and simulate as if you are in actual court. So for example, you'll find you have judges who could be lecturers, fellow students. You then have two students, one arguing for an applicant, another one arguing for the respondent, and then you could be having uh, other people now watching as the session is going on. And by the history has been said, any student that has taken part in the moots, including myself, has never failed to go to LDC. That speaks volumes. Last year, my students went to Arusha and they came back with a shield that is called the Henry Dunant Award. That award was last in Uganda in 2014 and then it came back in 2022. That's not something simple to talk about. For me, that is prestigious because I'm a former competitor in these competitions and for you to win that award, you must be exceptional. Secondly, taking students to Egypt and having them to be among the top, the top 10 best oralists. That is not something to take for granted, but also very important. Every year, for two years, we prepared for Sahar the Moot. And we actually, this time, we've been always losing on the same final. But this time, we actually went to the final. And we actually emerged as the second best team of the competition. As a coach, I've always been a man of faith. And so, this victory is not because I'm hardworking, but it's by God's grace, I have to be honest, number one. But then number two, this has come through hard work, through a period of continuous training, relentless sacrificing, but then also encouraging my students day in, day out, day in, day out, to improve the mooting culture. We, for example, we have an intramoot every semester, which seeks to help these students to improve. It's also important to know that this university, especially the administration has been very key because if I didn't have the support of my dean, the support of the senior management, it would be very hard because I could have the ideas, but if the senior management is not supporting this, it can be hard. And they've been very supportive. But of course, it also goes to the students. I really want to thank Tanya Innovations, as it has always done, coordinating and supporting students' activities to ensure that the youths are able to develop. So we truly appreciate the management of Tanya Innovations for such in initiatives to see how best we can improve uh, the students' culture, this, the learning environment that is conducive. We really appreciate them. But also, I, I also want to thank the administration of, of, of this great university that has always ensured that whenever we have these competitions, they come through. They give us funding, they give us resources when it is required. And sometimes, just being able to allow us to participate is very encouraging. But I also want to, 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 to encourage my students that they must, and the whole world out there, to know that this, these wins or these victories are not done or achieved one day. It's a process. And so when you lose one competition, you keep going. And so it's important for everyone in life to continue improving and never to give up. But finally, never to forget who God is to you.